Hey everyone, welcome to your channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the topic and that many gamers can relate to. Why the games get less fun as we grew up. But first, a disclaimer. This video might not resonate with everyone. You could be in your 40s and Twice. still absolutely love gaming and that's awesome. This is a perspective just on a common experience. So this is our disclaimer. Okay, with that out of our way, let's dive to the video. <laughs> Reason one, increased responsibilities. You know, remember that time just we were gaming for hours and hours with no care about uh, bills, families or anything like that. You know, just by growing up and responsibilities like paying for bills, families, work is going to consume more of our times and our energy. So this leaves less room for gaming and makes it harder to immerse ourselves like we. The carefree days of endless playtime are replaced with the reality of adult life. Balancing work, social obligations and personal commitments means we often have to schedule our gaming session, which can take away the spontaneous joy of picking up a controller or a mouse or keyboard whenever we feel like it. This shift in priorities make it challenging to engage in gaming as deeply as we did in our youth. Reason number two, higher expectations. You know, as when we were just a kid, every game could blow our minds. But as we grew up and play more games, the game should be so good, you know, to take our actually attention. The novelty of gaming wears off and we become more critical of what we play. We might start comparing new games to our favorites from the past, expecting the same level of excitement and innovations. This heightened acceptation can lead to disappointment, making it harder to find games that truly capture our interest and imagination like they once did. Reason number three, nostalgia bias. Ah, oh, nostalgia. The games we play and grew up hold a special place in our hearts. When we play new games, we often unfairly compare them to our cherished memories, make it harder to them to measure up. This nostalgic bias can cloud our judgment and prevent us from appreciating modern games on their own merits. Nostalgia can also make us long for simplicity and charm of older games, which might not always be present in today's high-budget, graphically intense titles. This comparison can leave us feeling that something essential has been lost, even if objectively games have improved in many ways. Reason number four, changes in social dynamics. You know, games was used to play with our friends. As we grew up to adults, it's hard to find the right schedule with your friends to actually experience some online or multiplayer together. So playing single player can usually be boring sometimes. So that's one important reason. The shared experiences that made gaming special are harder to come by. Online gaming does offer social interaction, but it's often with strangers and the sense of connection isn't the same. The joy of gathering with friends in person, sharing snacks and enjoying games together is cherished memory that can make solo gaming feel a bit lonely by comparison. Reason number five, personal growth and interest. As we grew up, we might find joy and interest in new hobbies. So when you find new hobbies like hiking or anything else, it left less time and passion for games. Exploring different pursuits can lead to more balanced life, but it also means less time to spend on games. Personal growth might also shift our focus towards activities that offer more tangible rewards or personal development. While gaming is still enjoyable, it might not provide the same sense of accomplishments or growth that other hobbies can, leading to natural decline in our enthusiasm for it. Reason number six, repetition fatigue. After years of gaming, many mechanics and storylines start to feel repetitive. We've encountered the same tropes and gameplay elements multiple times, leading to a sense of deja vu and less excitement. This repetition can make new games feel predictable and less engaging. The familiarity with the game design patterns and narrative structures can lead to a reduced sense of discovery and wonder. When we've seen and done it all before, it's harder to impress or fully engage, making gaming sessions feel more like going through the emotion that, than a thrilling adventure. Reason number seven, the market saturation. The gaming market out there is full of flooded games out there. 
That means, you know, similar games, too much games, too many games. And not all of them are gems. Sifting through metacore games to find the truly great ones can be exhausting, dampening the overall excitement for gaming. The abundance of options can lead to decision fatigue and sense of being overwhelmed. With so many games available, it can be challenging to invest deeply in any one title. The constant influx of new releases can make it hard to stay excited about any single game for long, leading to a cycle of starting and abandoning games without fully appreciating them. So there you have it, reasons why games might feel less fun as we grew up. It's not, but remember, it's not the game themselves that have changed. It's us. And that's okay. What's important is finding joy in whatever we do, whether it's a gaming, hiking, or anything else that sparks happiness. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for our next video. My name is Ebolon. I really appreciate it for this time. Thank you, everyone. I will see you in the next episode.